Today we'll show you how to use the max and min functions in Excel 2016. Get ready because you're about to have a great learning experience and at the end please be sure to subscribe. First, let's look at the max function. Let's say you're an entrepreneur and you want to move your business to the most heavily visited place in New York City. You want to do this so you can sell your products there next season. You don't know where the best place is, but you have this official report on the number of visitors per year in key areas of the city. Let's show step by step how you can use the Excel 2016 max function to identify the place with the largest number of visitors. First, place your cursor on the cell where you need the result to appear. Then write the following formula, remembering that all formulas begin with an equal sign. So type in equal sign max for max. Then an open parentheses. Then select the range of cells containing the information. In this case, from C12 colon to C20. Then type a close parentheses and press enter. There's your answer. Central Park with 38 million visitors per year. Now you have a basis on which to make a very strong objective decision. There's another way to use the Excel 2016 max function to find the place with the largest number of visitors. First, scroll up and click the formulas tab and then click insert function. Type max in the search a function box and then click go. The max function is automatically selected and you then click OK. Now click on the first cell containing the information you want, which is B2. Type in a colon and then click on the last cell with the information you want, which is B10. Now type a closed parentheses and click OK. Your answer is there. Central Park with 38 million visitors per year. Both approaches are great for making sound decisions. You should use the one you like best. This video is helpful so far, right? You can comment at the end, so please stay tuned. Now let's look at the min function. You know Central Park has the most visitors, but you decide to eliminate any poor performing products. So we use the XL 2016 min function and our annual sales report to identify any products that just aren't popular. First, place your cursor on the cell where you need the result to appear. Then write the following formula, equal sign min for min. Then an open parentheses. Then select the range of cells containing the information, in this case from C12 colon C20. Then type a closed parentheses and press enter. And there's your answer posters with only 500 sales. Again, you now have a basis on which to decide what product to eliminate. You can also use the other approach we learned to identify a product not performing well. First, scroll up and click on the formulas tab and then click insert function. Then type min in the search a function box, then click go. The min function is automatically selected, so click OK. Now click on the first cell containing the information you want, which is B2. Type in a colon, and then click on the last cell with the information, which is cell B10. Now type a closed parentheses and click OK. And there's your answer again, posters with only 500 sales. Both approaches are great for making decisions. You should use the one you like best. Now you know two approaches to using the max and min functions of Excel 2016. Both approaches will get the results you need to make decisions. You can use either approach to support your decision making when comparing numeric values in large or small amounts of data. Comment below to let us know how much you liked the video. And remember to subscribe. Thanks for listening.